Hi everybody, I'm back and this video is going to be kind of a chicken fried mess. Whoa, too much light. So I thought I would tell you that up front. Um, let's call this one the 16th video because tomorrow Anthony said it's going to be start the start of like the 13th, 12th day of Christmas. So yeah, we are getting very close. So I've got to speed this thing up. So I'm going to do quite a few things in this video. One of my number one requests is how to make a bow. So I thought I would do that real quick. I did that last year on a video and a lot of you kind of liked it. So I thought I would do that real quick. And um, as you can see, my tree got smaller. I wrapped quite a few gifts. And then I was going to do a lot of stocking stuffers. Uh, one of my subscribers asked me to do kind of like a gift guide. There's a lot of things I'm not going to buy because there's there's nobody to give them to. It's just Anthony and I. So I've reviewed all the colognes that I've bought him. I'm still going to go out and do a huge haul sometime this weekend. I will review all that stuff. Levi's clothes, button-down shirts. I'm tired of the jerseys. You know, I, they look good on him, but he, he looks really good in button-down shirts too. So anyway, um, stocking stuffers, you name it. And then most of the stuff that I've ordered, I've reviewed. Um, so most of my Christmas stuff, I know what I'm getting, except the pink boots. I I wanted light pink boots for I know I've been yakking about them forever. I will shut up. Um, we found, I found them on Amazon. I didn't even know they made them, but they make them for little girls. And I thought that little fuzzy coat or one of my subscribers, she knows who she is, for her little princess, a little pair of those boots and that coat would be so darling. Anyway, I will shut up. So first of all, I thought I would make a bow, show you guys how to make a bow real quick. And then I'm going to do some stocking stuffers. I have a couple new launch products from Lush. They are awesome. Um, I was going to do a whole um, video on massage bars, but they were very, very expensive, like in the $11, $12 range. Now, I purged out my Lush um, collection. I didn't want anything old. So I did have a liqueur and a hottie. Can't find them. So um, anyway, let's first of all do the bow. And you guys can see this room is just a chicken or a beef fried mess. Either way, it's bad. So let's get going. And um, yeah, so I just wrapped these two gifts. Oops, sorry Anthony, hope you're not sleeping. So this is the pink fuzzy, and then this one above is the VS stuff. So I just wrapped it. Um, let me grab that reel of ribbon that just fell. Um, I would be vlogging this. My batteries, I need to get new batteries. That camera, for some reason, um, just eats batteries up. So, yeah. We need to get down to the garage tomorrow, and we probably know exa exactly which box the new camera is in, and we need to figure out how to work it and switch over. Um, this camera does pretty good with the vlog, so either way, we have a camera. So tomorrow we're going to go out shopping, and I was hoping to, yeah, take the camera with us. But anyway, let me get going on the bow see where it went and then I've got a bazillion stocking stuff which is crazy and then this awesome lush um, stuff and then I have a huge box full of Mimi products I was thinking if you guys wanted I can do a Mimi giveaway um, instead of the VS bag that's kind of boring I can do some lush not a whole lot it's just really really expensive um, so yeah, you guys just need to let me know, but the Mimi, I will show you, there are some really awesome stuff in there. There's makeup, there's pigments, there's, I mean, um, so yeah, I got my box sent off and haven't heard from her, so I know she has kids, she's probably really busy, or I don't know, but she's not subscribed anymore, but anyway, unless it's under a different name. So let's get going on the bow. So basically you just tie them. I like to stack gifts this way. It just looks nice. I do them in coordinating papers. Now these look like little kids papers. They're not. I was going to go to the container store. They have beautiful papers. And I was going to do, um, under the white tree, I was going to do black and white 
polka dots with red and I still may do that it just means I'll have to unwrap everything so pretty much everything under the real tree is mine well I have a mix it doesn't really matter anyway that's not the meaning of Christmas but you can buy paper from there the container store and it's gorgeous if you're really into co coordinating papers and ribbons that would be the best place to get them or the paper factory in New York anyway so I got this reel about three years ago from Costco um, and it's last to be that long I have about this much left and you can see how much was on it um, it had 50 yards that would probably go around our house three times or over the top you could throw it across I'm kidding anyway it was huge so let's um, here's how you start tie it in a knot really tight sometimes I'll put a piece of tape just to hold it down really tight if I don't have Anthony to help me with the knot I didn't I managed to do it myself so you want to take your ribbon um, I, I like the wire edge ribbon just because afterwards you can cut it I fold it in half and let me get some sharper scissors those uh, lawn scissors are just not cutting anything so when you want your dovetail you fold it in half instead of having to, to make it you know really difficult and just cut it and that gives you the little dovetail like that so it looks nice and finished so um, then you want to take I used to work at Macy's in Seattle in the gift wrap department that's how I learned how to wrap gifts so fast and how to make bows and da 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 da, da. I wasn't there very long trust me it was somebody brought a cat in and wanted it wrapped and I was like I draw the line there I'm serious too anyway I think I got fired from there I was a teenager you know teenagers are kinda I don't know anyway so okay so you just take it and just keep going it depends on how big of a bow you want um, I recycle my ribbon um, like after Christmas after we've unwrapped everything I will take it and just fold it up and it the year for year to year it looks just as good as the year before um, I'm not kidding you so I'll go around about four times like that and then um, these scissors are a lot sharper these are obviously kitchen scissors so for now I'm just gonna cut it straight across I'll do the dovetail in a second again for you so um, sometimes if you I'll use wire and I'll bunch it up and do it this way and then tie the wire on it just depends I do have the green wire I will show you how to make a bow with wire also if you want to attach it to a wreath a tree or whatever so I'm going to show you the wreath also that's another video it is darling it's made with bottle brush trees and it has a little mini houses on it it is so cute anyway not to change the subject so I've got it gathered I went around four times just bunched it in circles and I have it gathered in the middle so then you take it and you put it on your your knot and then you just take your ribbon you usually need about five hands for this I'm trying to show you guys I know it's not very close um, and just make sure it's really tight pull it now sometimes so these don't slide I will put a piece of double sided tape underneath so they don't slide um, so let me get this closer for you so you can see the ribbon I'll put it up on my knees so I can't wait till we get our new house and I have a table and yeah a better setup because this is just kind of a chicken fried mess I know you can't really see what I'm doing but you take your ribbon you fluff it up that's why I like the wire edge ribbon it really holds its shape so you just take it and fluff it and then with the with the tails I like to have four tails I take it and crimp it like this so it's not just kind of hanging now this one needs a dovetail so I will show you again just fold it in half and you cut it like this 
So there's your dovetail. That's what they call that, a dovetail. It's like a triangle. You can see it. So then I just take it and gather it so it falls down like that. So um, as you can see, here's the side of the gift. You can see the ribbon's really poofy. Um, here's another one that needs to have a dovetail. But I just keep pushing them in and just shape it out however you like it. This one um, needs a dovetail. I'll show you again. See this one was cut the wrong direction. You can do them a point like that if you like. I prefer the dovetail. So you always want to go down. You want to cut down with the dovetail. And you want to use sharp scissors. There's no point in hashing your your nice ribbon up with um, long scissors. So there's your dovetail. And then I just take it, like I said, you can make another bow if you want. You can tuck this underneath. If it does, if it's if your bow seems flat or you don't want that many ends, you can just tuck it under and do that. Um, it just depends how you like it. So this one I'm just going to leave, but this is how I do it. I take it and crimp it like this, kind of like you're pinching a pie, and let the ends just stay like that. So you can kind of just do whatever you want. So here's where that end was. And like I said, um, this is how I crimp it. I just take it and fold it kind of like this. and just let it kind of fall off the edge of the paper but I think this one I'm going to tuck under because it's not looking real fluffy now it does get at some point when you have so many gifts under your tree you really have to sometimes I will stack these seven high it's crazy I might do a gift and show you guys what it looks like to see one seven high it's beautiful if you use the coordinating papers. Um, these are the less expensive ones like from Walmart. I do have some more expensive papers but there is the bow so it looks beautiful. Whoops, see it slid so I need some double stick tape. No matter how tight you do it it's still going to slide around unless you tape it. So I will set this down. Let me get up. Put it on the floor. This is rear end shot. <laughs> okay, so my hip just popped. I hope you guys didn't hear that. It was really gross. It sounded like a chicken bone. Anyway, so let me wind this up. The best place to get your ribbon, I'm not kidding you, is Costco. You can buy it. One of these has lasted me, like I said, two or three years. Six dollars. No joke. They have every type of ribbon, but you must have, if you want to do anything, DIY, I'm going to do a lot of DIY things. You need to have wire edge ribbon. So make sure you buy ribbon that has wire on the edges because it, you can form it better. You can crinkle it up or whatever. The other ribbon just kind of lays there. It depends on what you're making. Like you don't want to use wire edge for like a bridal bouquet. So I made my own bridal bouquet. I'll show you a picture of it sometime. Okay, so. I've got gift ideas. Here's a gift bag. This is from Bath and Body Works. Darling. Really cute. You can put um, makeup products in it. I stuffed Bath and Body Works. It's, I bought three or four of them when they were on sale after Christmas. And just put, you know, coordinating tissue paper in there. And just let it, you know, you just want to open it up. This was $3. I think I got it for a dollar. I mean, how cute is that? Everything under the real tree I'm doing in like pinks and purples, it seems crazy, but hey. So there's something here. I got this from Bath and Body Works. This is like a fair aisle. I think that's what that pattern's called. It's a little bag, a little bag. Now this fits um, a body wash and a soap perfectly, one on each side, and then just tie it and throw some tissue in. Wrap it in, put the tissue in first. Sometimes I will run paper through the shredder, and you don't have to buy shredded paper. It's a lot cheaper. I also buy that shrink wrap paper and make a lot of um, baskets, fruit baskets with wine, cheese, da da da. And you take a hair dryer to it, and that shrinks it down 
and then just make a big bow over it. Um, I can show you one of those. I'm going to make a basket for a neighbor here. So there's another um, just gift wrapped I gift wrap idea. So here is a lush ox from years gone by. Um, I have the ribbon too still. This box smells fabulous so obviously you don't want to put anything edible in it but makeup products perfect. Red it's beautiful you can use any kind of ribbon you want so that's why I save my beautiful boxes. Some of them yeah I have boxes and boxes this year I'm going to have to kind of purge through some of it. It's just getting too insane. This one is Darling. Um, this is a gingerbread house. I'm not quite sure how this works. Um, there's ribbon on both sides. As you can see, it came untied, but this is just darling. Now, this for a little girl, I would probably put... I was fixing something the other day in the back of my car, and I was I have a hatchback, kind of a sports car, and I was standing bent over in the back of my car, taping a box, and a guy drove by, and he was really nice, and it was freezing out, and he goes, hey, and I was like, yeah, and he goes, you need these, and he threw these gloves at me, and I just thought it was very, very sweet. Um, I know they sell these at Walmart. You can get them anywhere. It's not what they cost. It's more the point that he could see I was freezing, and he's like, he had a bag of them, kind of like the Secret Santa. Just you know, I've seen a lot of people this year buying gift cards and just doing really nice things, like the what's it called that movie, um, something something at for pay it forward um like i paid for a coffee the other day at mcdonald's and it went back a few and then it stopped but anyway so yeah um you can throw in like for a little girl they have smaller ones you could have gloves hanging over the side um candy canes you know whatever hair hair things i used to love the product tinkerbell i don't even know if they still make it the cologne smells awful but I loved it the the bubble bath and stuff like that the Bath and Body Works bubble bath it's out under the, under the tree that looks like a globe you can actually shake it and it does settle um, the glitter here's another one these are for sale right now at Walgreens um, I think they're like 50 cents these you can pack with so much stuff it's crazy I am not kidding you you could put I think I packed probably a whole face full of makeup for my mom last year. I put a mascara, um, a palette in there. I mean, if you grabbed, yeah, you could throw a bombshell. You know, this is all new stuff. Brushes. I had brushes hanging on the edge. And then here is one of the Benefit paper clips. Those come in handy. Oops. It's on the floor now. So, yeah. We'll find that later because you don't want to see the floor. Anyway, so yeah, you can just stuff anything in these. Um, just put some of that, you know, run the paper. Make sure the shredder is empty, obviously. And if you don't have colored paper, you can use old wrapping paper that you've saved. Run that through the shredder. You can use tissue paper. Just cut it up in smaller squares. If you put it in in big ones, um, ours only cuts in lines. If you have a shredder that does it three different ways just do smaller sheets like 8 by 10 and you can shred your own um, like for Easter also so it really a shredder there's more than one um, use for a shredder that's what I was trying to say so um, there's that one I made this one this was a kit from um, archivers I bought the kit and it made like 10 boxes. It was for um, goodies from the kitchen. It's clean. A lot of people don't want homemade things unless they know you well because like you wouldn't want to give the mailman cookies. But he's just going to throw it away. Anthony says they do because you don't know you know what people's houses look like and da 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 da. But unless you know somebody well I wouldn't eat anything you know but this is a little box that I made it's just really cute and haven't used it yet um, I'm going to reuse this for a friend of Anthony's at the post office um, I hope she's not watching this but 
I used all the products from Bath and Body Works. It's got a little um, bear on the top. And it comes with a washer on it. I need to remove the price tag to get it open, to pry it open. It's like a paint. And then you can use it later to even paint your house. I'm not kidding you. You can put paint in here. But I'm going to stuff it with sh colored shredded paper and put makeup and um, a couple bath products and probably some Bath and Body Works and yeah call it good he can take it into work like last year I sent him in with a flat of a box from Costco and it had um, really cute mugs that were standing on feet like Santa Claus in a mug and then I put um, a pre-made hot cocoa that had marshmallows and then I made chocolate spoons and put those in them and I think I put a couple other things like cookies or biscotti in with it and he took that in and they loved it at his work I mean he took like 10 or 12 of them in and gave them to the managers and a couple of his friends um, and they loved it and it, you just go to the dollar store find some really nice Christmas mugs they have to be cute like you know Santa Clauses or whatever you don't want just a red one um, and just fix them up put some tissue in there and you don't even have to wrap them put a bow around them you don't have to do anything so um, and then I bought these I had these hanging on my tree I just went and grabbed them um, these are really sweet they're really cute I got these at Michael's for like a little girl you could hide it on the tree um, if she wanted let's say a necklace or there's something she was wanting let's say a training bra I don't I know I went psycho the first year I got my training bra I'm still wearing it as a matter of fact, I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, my mom had it hidden on the tree. That's how I found it. So you could like, they're about that size. You could wad it up and stuff it in there. Something a little girl's been wanting for a long time. Stick a candy cane in with it. You know, whatever. Or you could just fill it with candies. There's a It's Sugar here over by the Lush store. Um, that's just all sugar. It's like a dime store candy. Um, candy store but it's not dimes you know it's by the pound so you leave spending about sixteen dollars but you can get a lot of candy so I just have like makeup wipes in here just for an example pink um, from Ulta you can get a lot of bath a lot of stocking stuffers for reasonable prices at Ulta I don't know why um, but you can get about five for five dollars and that is crazy so that's a good place to go you can go to Claire's and get earrings you know like hoops these are not from Claire's these are from um, the store Charming Charlie's really cute bag you could even use this bag I mean put a put something over the circle and it, it looks I think the bag is darling I think I like the bag more than I like the earring. She's like, you're freaking over the bag. I was like, yeah, I know. It's a rough day. <laughs> anyway, so there's that. Um, of course, I made the chocolate spoons. Those are in the kitchen. Um, then I've got, this came in a set that I bought at, <clears throat> excuse me, I bought at Fred Meyers. It came with the tags and everything. Here is the bottom part of it. I had the spoons in it. Um, now it has makeup in it out of my advent calendars, but you can see it's like a fair aisle pattern. Excuse my nails, they look awful. But it's for like homemade goods from the kitchen. And then this little plastic bag, you slide it in. There's two of them there. I always love to buy these in bulk and then just tie it with a ribbon and it came with um, oh there's two here so I can show you what a plain one looks like and there's a tag inside here too so it came with twine and a ribbon and a plastic bag and I think it was like $2.99 there was 12 in there it's crazy so I've been using a lot of my glossy box ribbons a lot of them even black at Christmas time is not cliche it's pretty cool actually but this goes inside of the bag and then 
let me grab the tag out of here and show you what it looks like. It came with twine for each, for each, um, whatchamacallit, each box. So I made cupcakes, I made cookies, I made chocolate spoons. I'm not going to send any of those into his work because I don't know if people eat them or throw them away. Although my kitchen is immaculate, but where is the tag? Anyway, it had a little tag that said joy on it. And then you just write to and from. You can make your own tags. I'm going to make a, bu a bunch of tags. I used to be a scrapper. Since I've started blogging, I really haven't had time to do some of my cards. I'm going to put up my P.O. box. Um, I did get a Christmas card today. Thank you, Sue. The very sweet of you. Very, very sweet. I will get a card back to you. Just give me time to make one. I think it, t I think it hits people a lot more in their heart when they see one that's homemade. Anyway, so I need to go down to the garage and grab that box. I pretty much had our whole apartment packed, so... Da da da. Anyway, so here is the twine that came with that set, and here is the. There's two here. These are the tags. They say joy on them. I don't know if you can see it. It says joy, and then on the back, you can just write something to and from. You know, I think it'd be cute for a little kid. You could put some stuffing in there. Um. I was going to say throw some Easter eggs. You could throw some chocolates in there just last minute. These are good things to have around your house. Um, you know, if somebody comes by and brings you a gift and you don't have anything, you're going, oh, crap. Well, me, I can come into my blogging room and just look around and grab anything. So, yeah, so there's some things that you can buy from, like, Michael's. Um, the ads are in the Sunday paper. These are dirt cheap. It's crazy. I think I got this set for like two dollars. There was twelve in there, so that's what came in the set: the tags, the twine, the, the plastic. And you don't have to use it for for home cook stuff. I don't mean to say fur for home cooked things. Here's another um, one that I got from. I think I got it from Fred Myers. I bought a bunch of these. I thought they were so darling to hang from the tree and I thought if a guy was going to propose to it, to his fiance I thought it would be really really sweet to um, either have a I got a ring once from a guy and it was put in a Benny bear and um, I don't know if you know what that is it's a Ben Bridge bear which it which is a jeweler and it has a zipper in the bottom of the bear and that's where they put the ring in the ring box inside and he gave me this bear and I was like oh Thank you. Kind of tossed it in the back seat of the car. He's like, you need to open the bear. And I was like, you're kidding me. Well, it had a ring about like this size in it. I freaked. But anyway, I didn't know about the zipper in the bear. So, yeah. But um, you can even put your own zippers. You can cut a stuffed animal, animal open. Put a, If you don't know how to put a zipper in, you can put a button and inserts, you know, if you're a guy and thinking of unique ways to propose to your fiance for, let's say, Christmas Eve, you could, a guy could do this. I'm not kidding you. You could cut, you could get a bear. I don't have one. There's one in the bedroom. I should have brought it. You could cut the bottom out of the bear or around the heart place where the bow is. <clears throat> Excuse me, underneath the bow, you know, around the neck or at a bow. You could cut a slit there. And then just put like, um, you could just sew it closed or, I don't know, throw your box in there with the ring, um, you know, put the bow over it and she's going to get to see this bear and go, oh, thank you, you know, hoping in her heart that there's a ring in there and there is a ring. And if she doesn't get it, say, look closer at the bear and then say, look under the bow and she'll see and then she'll just be freaking out. So I have many if you're wondering on uh, proposal ideas, I have a bazillion of them. Uh, I'm not kidding you. A bazillion unique ways that don't cost a lot of money. The ring is what costs, but I have a lot of ways. You can hide it on the tree in one of these. You could hang it. Um, if you want to just throw the ring in, that's a little scary. Um, you can tie the ring. If you don't, you want to make sure you don't want to lose it. You can tie the ring to the end of this and take it out of the box and put some stuffing in over it 
and then fill it with like some candies and I don't know some makeup something she likes and then when she's done you know opening it taking it out I would consider this like a stocking I would say there's still something in there and she'd say well I don't see anything say dump the stuffing out and then she'll see her ring and she'll be like oh my gosh you know oh, oh. no I'm not gonna marry you no I'm kidding so anyway yeah so you, you guys need some suggestions on how to propose or what how to what's a unique way to do it that's inexpensive. I have a bazillion. Anthony proposed to me in a jewelry store. So yeah, it could have been a little more romantic, but it's been ten years, nine years, something. Our anniversary was last week. Neither one of us knew how long it'd been, but anyway. So yeah. Um, I think I went to pick my ring up. It had been sized, and I was like, "Well, I don't think you ever asked me." And he's like, "Do you want to? Will you marry?" I think he said, "Do you want to marry me?" And I was like, "Okay." And I think our wedding was the next day, <laughs> so it was kind of funny. But he's just, he's just got a heart of gold. He's the greatest guy on the world. But anyway, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, I can really help you in that in that department so here's another cute idea for stuffing stuff in um, let's see um, I tap wax out of candles you can do a set of three um, if you have these sitting around your house um, that are burnt down if you're a guy woman whatever I do the small medium and large and keep the lids and then I tap the wax out I'll show you what they look like tomorrow I wash them out, I take the, the candle sticker off, and then I'll fill them with candies and stack them and tie them with a ribbon, and they really look cute, and then you can put them in your bathroom with like Q-tips, I have some in our bathroom with Q-tips and cotton balls, and then in the tiny one, I put my earrings and my rings in at night, so they all have lids, and so it's a really unique Here's a bigger one from a bigger candle from Bath and Body Works. So yeah, you can see how clean they get once you tap the wax out. You just throw them in the freezer. The wax gets hard. You don't have to mess around with dumping it out, spilling it, da da da. So there's that idea. Um, let me show you my collection of Mimi stuff. Here's another idea. I made this. It was like a paint can. I bought it. I put some paper around it, some ribbons. This, mind you, this isn't my best, but I put, you know, the face wipes. I put some makeup in here. Um, there's an OPI pink nail lacquer. I had two of these. There's a blush down on the bottom. There's a lip balm in here. There's a champagne bubble bath where you guys could get in the tub. And then you could throw the ring in the bottom. You could throw the ring in the in. You could have it put into a bar of soap, a, a wedding ring. I've had seen that. That is awesome. You have to wash yourself until the soap, or she's gonna go get a knife in the kitchen and cut the soap in half and get it out. But yeah, if it's a beautiful ring, it's really unique. I mean, can you imagine a ring like this in a glycerin bar of soap? it would be gorgeous. I mean this this is about I think this is about a carrot. Um it's been in the family for years. My mom gave it to me. But um can you imagine that sparkling in a bar of soap? It would be gorgeous. And then the one Anthony gave me would be beautiful too. You could put it in anything and just just make sure that whatever you do you tie a string to it. Whatever it's hooked to or you tape it to a box with a string on it or you will lose it. If you take it out of the box you will lose it. If you put it in your pocket you will lose it. I'm not kidding you. Just make sure you tie tie it to something. Um, that's my only tip because I've seen it happen. Anyway, so here's another really cute idea. It's got OPI makeup in there. So yeah, don't have a clue who I'm going to give this to. Maybe a subscriber? I don't know. So, there's tons of stuff. I could go on forever. I will show you one more thing. This is all of my Mimi stuff. So, yeah, it's crazy. This is full to the brim. Full of makeup, face creams, 
hair the what I have in my hair now is the best conditioner I think I've ever used in my entire life. My hair smells so good. So I am hooked on it. I'm going to have to buy it from Japan from now on, but I love it. And you can tell a big difference the the mornings that I wash my hair. It looks so soft. It has no hairspray in it. And this stuff is amazing. Let me see if I can find it. I keep these cards. The only reason I keep them from the Mimi boxes is because a lot of the products are written in Japanese. And I don't know Japanese, so a lot of them I can figure out what they are, like argan oil. But some of them, like the snake venom, I will not use. They kind of scare me a little, the snake venom cream. But some of the packaging on these are so darling. Like this is from the collab box. This is a lip, um, it's a lip butter, a buttercream lip mask. And this is awesome. It smells fabulous. Just really cute. It just takes a lot of thought. So, um, what was I going to look for? Oh, here it is. Like this So Fast Hair Booster Pack is the best conditioner I've used in my entire life. I am not kidding you. It works so good. And this is from the Samantha Schumer Schumerman uh Mimi box. She did a great job on her box. Every product was awesome. So yeah, I've got pigments. These were out of her box. They considered this one because it was in one package, but she actually had a huge box. It was full of pigments and she did a great job. I need to go to her website and tell her she, how good she did. I need to go, I think I did go subscribe to her, but I need to tell her how, how talented she is because she filled her box with a lot of awesome stuff. As a matter of fact, this is what came in her box. Um, she had this sweet cotton spray. I love it. It doesn't smell like sweet cotton, but this is a spray over your it's a it's a makeup setting spray like a little girl if she were to get into this this would be a disaster so you would want to hide this but from your kids um, you want to shake it well but to set your makeup it is fabulous now like I told you told the told everybody else I we usually use Bath and Body Works or a body spray to set mine because it has a lot of alcohol in it and that's what it takes to set your makeup so, I think I will end this video before it gets too long. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any question, guys, on how to propose or you're thinking about proposing, I can give you a million unique ways of how to do it. Trust me. Um, but just remember, if you're not going to ask, tie it down. If you take it out of the box, even if you do have it in the box, make sure it's tied down because you will lose it and you will be freaking out. I think we had insurance on my wedding ring and um, before I had my hip out, the stone fell out. I went to put it on and the stone was missing and I was like, oh my gosh. So all we had to do was send it off and they sent us a new ring. But if we wouldn't have had that, I wouldn't have been, I would have been without a wedding ring. At least one with one from Anthony. I have this one from, it's like a family heirloom, it's beautiful, um, but it's not the same because it's not from your husband. But anyway, so here is all the stuff from Mimi Box. It is crazy. It's all brand new. None of it's open. So just let me know what kind of giveaway you guys want. If it's Lush, forget it. The Lush store here is crazy expensive and the products are not pretty. They are not. I don't know why. I think it's because they let a lot of them sit in the window and the sun melts them and they just don't look very good. But, so let's do this Lush review real quick in this video and then I will do one more and we will call it quits. So, this is on massage bars. Now there is a new, there's a uh, three or four new massage bars. They don't have the bright pink one with the seeds in it. I'm not quite sure what the seeds are. I should have walked in the living room and grabbed um, my Lush guide, but my hip hurts too bad. I know it's a bad excuse, but anyway, so yeah, there's one. So you guys have all seen this one. This one's tender as the night. 
Marshmallows Fab. You can still buy these. It's really pretty. This one would be fabulous to put a ring in. You could stick it right in the middle. And you could be at a restaurant and have this put on a plate next to a dessert. It almost looks edible. And have the waiter bring this over. I don't know. You could stick it inside of a bubble bar. Um, have her get in the tub. Just make sure that it doesn't go down the tub. Make sure that there's mesh over the drain or something or make sure you're watching it very closely um, once the once the bubble bar is squished up the ring is going to come out you, so you can if it's a soft one you can push it right in through the bottom and smooth it over and nobody would even know it was in there so yeah another idea so there's one that's called Dirty. It's from the men's new collection. It smells so good. It smells like straight up cologne. I'm not kidding you. Um, and they have the new bags at Lush. These are the Christmas bags. These wouldn't be cute. Just wrap with a bow or you could take them with a hole punch. Punch it here and here and put a ribbon through it and tie it. And if you want to take it to the office, this is kind of an expensive secret Santa. Because this was like eleven ninety five or ten ninety five, but yeah, you could put two holes and just tie that like take that glossy box ribbon and tie it through, you know, hook it through. So this one is called I think this is a men's one from it's called Dirty. Yeah, and it says lush. Now this is so moist, um, it's gonna start melting in my hand. That's chocolate in the center. Um, it's already melting, so this is amazing, but it smells like straight up cologne. I'm not kidding you. So it's from their um, cologne line. I don't know which scent it's, which scent it, it is, but if I could find out, I need to go to the catalog. I will get Anthony some of it. It smells so good. Now, I would not suggest this for a woman. For a woman. I don't know what this fur is. Anyway, look at my hands grease already so yeah it's fabulous it's just it melts in your hands and this room is not extra warm or anything so there's that one it's called dirty from the men's line I want to get that on my dress or it will be dirty then there's one called per cup and it has coffee and whatever they put in massage bars it's out in the living room yeah party foul Dana you guys don't need to tell me either I I, I know but I just left it out there I, I'm on crutches again okay so here's another bag another one of their Christmas bags they are cute as a bug so like I said, you can put the two holes, you could put one, you could hang it on the tree. Yeah, so just unique ways of presenting gifts besides in just a box. It's kind of the regular old, Anthony's going to get me the wow. And I was thinking about doing an insane giveaway um, if, if he's going to get it to buy it on Boxing Day from the UK because the store only has two left. It's going to be, they're going to be sold out. But I was thinking maybe giving of I was thinking of maybe giving the wow away. And I should get a few thousand subscribers for that because that's two ninety nine. So on Boxing Day, um I'm thinking that's when we're gonna order the wow because we'll get two. Now the shipping's gonna be insane, but this one is called Per Cup and it has co it has coffee in it and it smells so fabulous and this stimulates your um, whatever get up and go glands and I guess if you had a headache it would work well with that because the smell of coffee and the uh, this one's called per cup and it, this one is melting in my hands too their massage bars are awesome their new massage bars they are just fabulous I've never seen them this slick it's crazy I mean, it is, I can't hold on to it. It's sliding out of my hand. Look at that. So this one is called Per Cup. It's for aches and pains, joints, muscles, like that. 
that's what they it is for, not fur. I'm not from the south. Then they have a bright pink one that has like little seeds in it. Well, they had it at Lush when I was there the day before yesterday, but they couldn't put it out. She wouldn't let me buy it if I promised to blog it the next day. She wouldn't let me buy it, so I didn't feel like going back for one item because I have so much Lush under the tree out there. I didn't feel like driving all the way there. What's only four miles? to get one massage bar so I figured anyway so now I was going to do um, a few bath melts and call it a day for 45 minutes this one these are soaps so there's two that are fabulous this one is this one's Taka Taka I don't think they even carry this one anymore it wasn't a real real uh, popular one. You can see it's in purple. I don't think they carry these. It's not melting in my hands like the other ones. It is soft. Um, it's like a hockey puck shape, but it's not as wow. The other ones you can hold it and watch it slide down. Now this one is a little bit. That's how you can tell how good a massage bar is. You hold it at the end like here and let it hold it up like this and if it slides down it's really good. So, I have a Snow Fairy, a Christmas um, bath melt. Now we're moving on to bath melts, and then I'm going to quit. I took it out. Oh, Dana, Dana. Anyway, here's a You've Been Mango. These are fabulous. You could stick a ring inside this. If you just had a promise ring anything. Um, you could stick it inside this. It says mango on the top. Believe it or not, out of all the products I've used, I've never tried this one. But these are very expensive. You can see how greasy it is. Um, I'm going to try it in our jetted tub, but I'm going to slice this one up into about 10 because it just gets the tub too slick. Way too slick. And I don't want Anthony to fall at 4 o'clock in the morning. So that is everything. And if I find anything that I missed, I know I did miss some Lush. I will review that tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I will get this uploaded and see how I feel afterwards. Otherwise, tomorrow we will hit it again after we go shopping. We're going to go have sushi. I love sushi. California rolls. And then I order a, ch a grilled chicken Caesar salad. I can eat both. It's crazy. Some be my size. I'm trying to gain weight. And that's the way to do it. High carbs. I don't like any other kind of sushi. Anthony likes the Alaska sushi. It has tempura um, crumbled on the top of it. I'm going to start making sushi. I might do a DIY on that for you guys. I have to buy this set um, where you twist it really tight. It takes like a bamboo mat. Um, and I'll show it, show you guys how to make it. I'll probably just make California rolls because I make the other Japanese ones and they are fabulous. Anyway, so before I yak your ear off, I will let you go. Hope you enjoyed this. Sorry about the chicken fried mess. I've got to clean this up or the beef fried mess, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if your local Lush stores I have the Christmas bags. I'm sure they do. They are darling. You know, you could even, if you didn't have time, like guys don't, they usually don't want to put a lot of effort into it. You could throw a ring inside and throw some Lush around it and put some tissue paper in there and use this as a gift bag. I mean, it, it's cute enough. Most women freak at the sign of lush. They're like, oh my gosh. And then to throw a ring in on, on top of it. Wow. That would be a day. Anyway, so I will let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. And I will see you tomorrow. Or maybe in a little bit. See how I feel. My hip is hurting. So, love you all. Sub, sub, sub. And I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.